So, race five is the New Year Handicap Chase over the extended two and a half miles yet again here at Cheltenham. And it's a grey three handicap on top of the pile is Einzer, Sobrabre for Darren Thompson, Rick Rennes for Alex Cherry is two, Quarters Ovo for Vinny Gerard is three, Dawn Runs for Hem is four, Cork Nothing for James Shea is five, Bella Bertone Nalini for Ryan Costa is six, Force Horizon for Leon Renberg is seven, Farmley Boy for John Morgan is eight, Eleanor Rigby for Martin Needham is nine, and Mrs Jody for Derek Hinton makes up ten, with eight of them running out the handicap here. There's only two of them in the true handicap, but of the ten, the starter's got him away. And get to the first, which is the wall to jump, as we know in the new course. And again, we've got a reluctant leader here in Corda Zobo. So he's inside his rear, Coronas. And he's outside his farm, you boys, to get to the ditch. The leader's all over it, as well as the remainder, but only about three lengths between first and last. And we're being reluctantly led by Farmley Boy, but Corda Zobo tries to push through as they go for the third, which is the plain one. One that took it particularly well was Eleanor Rickman, shuffled right to the back of the pack and uh, drifts off the end. So it's Quarters Obo that's going to lead us from Farmley Boy and Rhea Coronas. Line of horses, which includes everybody but Eleanor Rigby. Do, 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 do. Awful sound. That's Martin Leland, what's up in me? So uh, you can blame him. But it's Quarters Obo just a length to Farmley Boy and about length and a half back to Rio Coronas and the green silks of Dawn runs up against the fence he's got verbal diarrhea Martin it's still Cordes Oboe from Farmley Boy and Rio Coronas and then Dawn runs Force Horizon Bella Bottoni Cork Nothing misses Jody out wide and the Knights are sobbery in amongst that pack as they go over the fifth they're all over it and then Rigby has managed to tag back onto the rear of the pack now we're inside the final two miles. It's a reasonable pace. And it is Quarters Obo. By a couple to Farmley Boy and Rhea Coronas. We need one, two, three. And three up against the fence of Dawn Runs, Bella Bertolini. And I'm a sobri between those. So no, between those is False Horizon. Oh, no, it's the grey horse with the red cap. It's Dawn Runs, my apologies. Now wide is Cork Nothing. Purple silks of Mrs. Jodel. And just to the rear, Eleanor Rigby. You see plenty of people getting silks as they go over the seventh, so, which is good for us commentators. Although there's plenty, of, there still appears to be plenty of green silks, which are not definitive enough for the commentators, because one green silk looks like another green silk. So if you're looking for next season and want your own silks, stay away from the green. As they go over the eighth, they all take it well. And we're still being led by Cordes Obo. Farmley Boy and Rhea Coronas. Some of that is Dawn Runs. Why they still cook nothing. Can't see who's quite between those. It's the blue silks of Force Horizon. You get to the ninth. Oh, Farmley Boy went straight through the top of that. Shuffles back into the chasing pack. And it's just still caught as Oboe just on his own. By about five. And Rhea Coronas, Farmley Boy, and Dawn Runs. They go to the water for the second time. All over it. seems to have brought their dog, but it's Cordes Oboe by about four, gets over that one, to, oh we've lost one, and False Horizon's gone for Leon Van Rensburg, unlucky there, he's out of this race, oh we lost a leader now, Cordes Oboe threw himself into that, lucky he didn't bring anybody else down, he had a three four length advantage, didn't get up well, and he's gone, so we've lost a couple now, and that's left at rear Coronas, out on his own, the loose horse and Farmley Boy and Dawn runs. Moves really well now. It's El oh, the leader's gone this time. Rear Coronas. No, and Cork, nothing's gone. So uh, we lost another couple. So it's now D Dawn runs that leads us from Farmley Boy. And then a Rigby just on the outside. Then a length back to Einzer Sobri and Bella Bertolini. And about a five or six length gap to Mrs. Jody, which is getting a little bit towered off now. So we're inside the final five, and it's Dawn Runs that still leads us from Farmley Boy on the inside, and then Rigby on the outside. Then can half back to Einzer Sobre and Bella Bertolini as they go over the 14th of three from home. The better jump was Elena, Elena Rigby. So Elena Rigby now's nose is in front from Dawn Runs. Moving really well on, on the outside is the top weight, Einzer Sobrabre, but it's Dawn Runs that cracks for home first. He makes the run first inside the first three furlongs. He doesn't look like He's got the runs, but he's on the run. And it's Dawn Runs from about 
two lengths back to Farmley. Boy and Eleanor rig behind to Sobri still there. Bella Bertoloni is really hanging on well here. So as we come down to a quarter mile from home, it's Dawn Runs being chased down by Farmley Boys. They go to the penultimate. Dawn Runs gets away from it quickest from Farmley Boy. Farmley Boy on the outside. They get to the last. Farmley Boy takes it well as well as Dawn Runs. These two are neck and neck as they go up the Cheltenham Hill just by a length running on well on the outside is Eleanor Rigby behind to Sobri on the top weight. But it's Dawn Runs from Farmley Boy pushing through Eleanor Rigby. Dawn Runs on the outside now is Ainsa Sobre. Ainsa Sobre, family a boy, but it's Ainsa Sobre, the top weight. Incredible run there by Ainsa uh, Sobre. Takes the New Year handicap chase. One of the only two horses that are in the handicap proper. Takes it just from Dawn Runs. Family a boy come, family boy came third, I think. Uh, Fourth was Bella Bertolini for Ryan Costello. Well done there. It's the first time I've seen you in the first four, mate. Well done. But it is a win for Ryan Sassel Bravery. Well done. Dawn runs for Hebs for second. Third was Family, a boy for John. And fifth was Ellen Riggin for Martin Leland.